plan on this sword is to take any parts that have this brass painted zinc alloy and cover it with gold leafing. I want to sand down the scabbard and restain it. Keep that grain in it, it looks good, but give it a better finish, make it pop a little bit more. Pull off this cord here because it's cheap looking and loose. More leafing on the bridge. Same for the throat guard and pommel, I guess, I don't know. Pull off this as well and replace it with a two-tone wrap. I'm gonna use a suede cord instead. And on the guard, I've already filed out all the flash that was inside of all this detail work. It was all filled with flash. You couldn't actually see through any of it. it. Took a little bit, not too long, but I cleaned it all up nicely. All in all, these couple of little upgrades should help up the quality look of this sword. It is 1060 or 1065 tempered steel, so it's a good blade. I haven't really cut with it though because it's not too sharp and I wanted to keep it more for show. Also, I haven't taken it apart yet, so I don't know what's up with the tang. I've been told it's screwed to that pommel, which is all right. I'll find out when I strip it apart.